watching Time Warner Cable News New York One all morning. And now, here's a look at what's happening in your neighborhood. We're talking about steam fitters this morning and how you can become one. There's good money in this profession. The people who handle the design and uh, the building and the maintenance of gas, water, and sewer lines in buildings across the city. And here comes Roger Clark. In Long Island City with more on this story. Good morning again, Roger. I see uh, you've, you've got your welder's gear again. Uh, yeah, even more, but this is the real deal. Like, this is the welder's jacket. You get like a special hat, and then, of course, the big mask thing. Well, there we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we are at Steamfitters Local 638. This is their training center in Long Island City. And yeah, Pat, so you, you know, uh, we were talking about that virtual yeah. welding machine that they have. Yeah. But then I said to them, well, can I try the real thing? And they kind of looked at me like, well, all right. So this really cool guy named Dan, who's a Jets fan, which I like, uh, helped me out. And check this out. So here's me attempting to weld. Hang on. Who, who's who? Yo, you were the, the one actually holding the welding gear there. Yes, yes, yes. They, uh, yeah. So, it, you know, you have, you know, it was a, it's funny, though, because when I put the mask on, I didn't have an adjusted weld. I couldn't see anything. And I said, am I not supposed to see anything here? They're not going to. They're not going to install that that pipe in any sort of critical location, are they? Yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea. No. Okay. They, they, I, I, they may send me a Pat. Pat Dolan is here, and he's uh, president of uh, Steam Fitters Union Local 638. And I hope you guys are going to send me a bill for that the damage I did to that poor, poor pipe there. No, not at all. <laughs> you did a great job. First time starting. It's uh, believe me, I started here uh, as an apprentice in 1987, actually welding in these same boots. And uh, there's a tremendous amount of training that goes into our apprentice. There's a big demand out there with highly skilled welders, and it's very important that our men and women are trained to do the welding out there. So you did a great job. And you guys have been around since 1884, basically helped build the city, uh, you know, from and literally from the inside out. Right? Correct. Yeah. Well, uh, as, as Tony stated before, there's a great respect between management and union. And the union knows that we need our union contractors out there to go out and get the jobs for our union workers to go work on. And we have to provide highly skilled uh, trained workforce. And this is the training. It's a, a joint venture between the union and the union. We invest a tremendous amount of money into our training department, and our men and women will come out of this school highly trained to perform the work on the job sites. And uh, also, uh, Richard Roberts is here, who's business agent at large for, for the local, and you guys have a great program here. It's called Helmets to Hard Hats, and these are men and women who are ser you know, serving overseas veterans. They come back, and you guys provide a great opportunity for them to get into the apprenticeship program. Yeah, Helmets to Hard Hats program is one of the greatest programs that we have in the building trades. 638 uh, is a great participator in the program. Uh, today we have five veterans that are enrolled in this class. Two of them are back uh, overseas. Uh, Devlin and Vitali, both the United States Marines, redeployed. Uh, jobs will be waiting for them when they come home. Uh, it's, it's a great uh, program that should be publicized across the United States. What Stephen is local 638 does for our returning veterans. Well, thanks a lot, Rich. Appreciate it. Pat, of course. Th thanks, guys. Thanks for letting me, uh, uh, yeah, d you know, do it. Steam fitters, you know, doing some good stuff, Pat. You know, I feel much tougher than I do. You know, we think of steam fitters, you think, you know, they're tough. And, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm anything but tough, so I feel much tougher today. I, I think that's a good thing. The jacket helps with that. Roger, thank you.